Alrighty. So today we're back playing some more Tropico 6. And today we are on to episode number 7 of the Tourism Island playthrough. And last episode we started to put down our first couple of buildings on the skyscraper portion of the archipelago that I wanted to put together. So in this episode we're definitely going to do what we can to continue that trend. So let's get into it. Alrighty, and we're sitting on a humongous chunk of money. And sort of our limiting factor right now is the support of the conservative faction. We want to keep this from dropping down too low. But at the same time, we definitely want to keep building as many wind turbines as possible. But I think right near the end of the last episode, we made a new nuclear power plant. So um, we might as well pick up lead shielding for this building. Um, once this gets some uranium in it, then we should have another spare um, 1000 megawatts, which will be really nice. So we'll try and get as much of this other island finished as possible. And I think on the last attempt that I made on this series, I actually built like two airports over here on this like little strip of land. So I think I might do the same thing. We'll see. Um, I definitely want to build this area up as much as possible in this episode. And as we can see, this island here is starting to look really, really good. It's starting to look rather quite dense. So real quick, let's just get some cool looking shots of this little area here. Uh, in a recent comment, someone was questioning how you get rid of the HUD. And it's something I do all the time on the channel, you might have noticed. And with me on PC, I believe it's all X. And so I'm always pressing that. And I reckon that you can do the same thing on console with some button or combination of buttons. But this area is looking pretty cool. There's lots of tourists moving through here. And this was that one corner that I said that I wanted to make look really neat. Now, something quite interesting is the fact that we do actually have a lot of tourists on the island. And even if a tourist is only well off, they'll still have access to cars. So I could build a number of parking decks around. And this would enable us to witness a lot of cars being driven around the island, which could be kind of cool. So that is a thought. But at the same time, we could... As you can see, there's like very, very few cars. Really, it's just like trucks, police... And like, that's it, honestly. Hmm. We'd have to go through and demolish certain things. Like maybe we can move stuff, like move the embassy out of the way. Um, I really want to get cars driving around though. It would look pretty neat, I'd say. But the thing about cars is you kind of have to make a lot of space for them. And they don't give a good wage. Like they give a wage of like $7 a month, I think, which is kind of annoying. Um... Yeah, on the max budget, a wage is $7 a month, so not very good at all. But, I mean, maybe what I could do is actually just build a bunch of parking decks all throughout this island here. That might be kind of neat. So, we have a bus station as well as the metro station. So, I'm kind of setting up these 3 by 2 metro stations here. And what I think is actually going to be a better idea is to actually... Let's go through, demolish this all up, and we're going to reorganize this just a little bit, do this here, and instead what I'm going to do is make the same 2x3s, right? But what we can do is, there is this bus station, it's this one here. So you'll be able to take um, the metro station all around the island, that's fine. But at the same time, you can also take the parking deck is kind of what I'm thinking might be cool. So we'll have the metro station. This will be the only bus station really on this island is the bus station to get here. We might make another one to connect other islands, maybe like out this way or yeah, probably like another bridge somewhere around here and we'll build a bus station on each side of it. So we won't have buses driving all around here. Instead, you'll either take the metro or you'll drive a car. I think that'll be kind of cool. And 
because we just set this area up like this. Let's go ahead and actually set down a new park there. Okay, so that's all looking pretty fine. And we just need to use our tremendous amount of funds to start. Let's get solar panel windows on all of our modern apartments. Use all this money that we have to start building up all sorts of additional income revenues. I don't think, yeah, this nuclear power plant is yet to receive its uranium. Let's have uranium over here, though. Either way, once that fully gets stocked in, then we can start really messing around with electricity. Another thing is we want to keep this conservative opinion above 30. <clears throat> and each wind turbine we construct is going to decrease their opinion by 5. So that means right now we can potentially afford to do... Just one, that's probably fine. And of course, every time it gets built up, max budget and 64 RPM. So that'll steadily increase our electrical budget, which would be nice. Okay, either way, let us do, well, kind of what I'm thinking is we have the money for it and I kind of want to finish up the rest of this island just real quickly. Like there's not a whole lot of space left, so we might as well get it done. Um, something that could be cool is Another casino. Well, there's one right there. I don't want to do another one too close. Well off or better for the Museum of Modern Art. Maybe we could do one of these, but they are a rather cumbersome building, which is kind of annoying. They take up like almost an entire one of these city blocks. Yeah, maybe we could do this. Okay, so we can go demolish this road. And then we can do a Museum of Modern Art here and then maybe an apartment on one side and a hotel on the other um potentially we could just fill this area in with a bit of parks yeah it's not a terrible idea so let's go ahead and do that um we can do Thinking something like that with another one like this and then that. That seems fine. Um, we have so much money we can quick build all this stuff all the time. This pirate cove has lost us $13,000 in its lifetime. So we don't really need it. We don't need to like pull more people onto the island. People are immigrating rather consistently. Although we are sort of at a unemployed tropican des deficit. So we do kind of need more people but I mean... We don't need this building anymore, so let's go ahead and demolish it. Okay. Go ahead and max out the budget here. Increases fee by $4. Children are allowed to visit. Ultra modern open access. Operates on basic settings. Decreases the fee by $6. Service quality decreased by 10 But it will make your um, education buildings function a little better. But I kind of like the idea of modern masterpieces if... We're going to make it for tourists only, but I think I'm going to leave this um, for our population to come visit as well. Okay, so I kind of do want like some public services around and we already have a cathedral. So what I'm thinking is we should do first off, let's make sure that we need don't need news, a new newspaper, which we do not. I don't think. Yeah, the entire island's covered with newspapers, which is more than we could ask for. So. Let's see, is there anything else we need to do? The radio station, we have one radio station and it's almost affecting the entire island. Good enough. Let's see what else. Do we have a TV station? Yeah, we do, I think, right? Yes, we do have a TV station. Good. Um, what else? We should do the child museum. Should just get it done real quick. Ooh, and it kind of looks like this might be a really good spot for it. So let's go ahead and do this here. And then what else I'm thinking is something very simple like a grocery. We already have all sorts of other stuff. And there isn't a grocery that close nearby. Let's check something. We can do food quality. And we can see the food quality that people are receiving in nearby buildings. So as you can see, there's like lots of red here. Red, 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 red. Or like an orange. Which means that they don't really have a quick access to a grocery. Even though there's one right here. So this is kind of telling me that we should just build another one. So we don't have to worry about it. 
Um, ooh, this could be kind of cool. Let's go and do this. Build it facing kind of the wrong way. But then what we can do is, first of all, let's make a new entertainment building. Kind of thinking a restaurant. Yes. Let's build it this way. And then what else I'm thinking is we can honestly just demolish this and build parks up all in this area. Um, I'm not worried about losing any elections like ever. We should be able to make everyone plenty happy. Promise and, promise and improvement and nothing. Um, let's check our... Not foreign politics, but let's check our trades. Oh, we've actually exhausted a number of trades. That's kind of crazy. We're still importing juice and cheese. We're still trying to do this car export as well. Do we have everything we need to make cars? We do not. I know we don't. Um, hmm. There's a couple of things. First off is... Well, you know what we could do instead? What we should do instead? Is we shouldn't produce our own coal... Or iron. Because this deposit is halfway empty. I guess we're like halfway through the playthrough, so it's not that bad. And then this one is over halfway empty, which isn't great. So, um, let's go into the trade menu first off, and let's turn off. Whoa. 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 That is crazy. So, I talk about it a lot. Cars are one of the most expensive goods that you can trade in the game. Usually they're close to 30,000 for a thousand units and right now cars have taken a tremendous nosedive over the past Couple of years as you can see it's steadily been going down and then it kind of leveled out here um, So they're under half as much as they should be which is absolutely wild So cars aren't worth anything which is a total shame, but I mean I'm still gonna do it anyways, but We're making so much money anyways that it kind of doesn't matter, but We'll go ahead and set it up regardless. Um, kind of what I'm thinking could be interesting is, yeah, right here we should do our car manufacturing as well as some other like basic industry because it'll be pretty close to the coal. And so we can set up a steel mill and then the car manufacturing plant. And then just over here, I believe we're already producing rubber. I think we only made one rubber plantation. Yeah, here's one. So we have one, one rubber plantation. Um, hopefully it's enough. Let's go ahead and set up all the industry that we need for this. First things first, a steel mill. Um, so I want to turn off steel, iron, and coal exports. So we can keep them all on our island. Maybe here. Kind of like this spot, but it's also kind of not a great spot. We can do here and then we'll need to kind of build, maybe we can just build like a little town right here for all these people living around here. You know what else we could do? Um, let's check with the max wages, $22. Max wage on a nuclear power plant is really high, $68. So these people are like all rich and filthy rich, right? These people are all rich and filthy rich. And I reckon that most of the people working in the steel mill are going to be rich as well. Steel mill. Um, so that's nice. And then I reckon that it'll kind of be the same thing for a vehicle factory. So let's go ahead and do that. Where is the road input for this building? So there's that. And then what we can do is a Teamsters port right here. Perfect. Okay. So then all we got to do is connect this all up with roads. Oh no, uneven terrain, that is not good. Hmm. Well, looks like we're gonna have to do some moving around of things, which is always okay. Or maybe we'll just have to demolish it. Let's just demolish it. We have so much money anyways that 
not really worried about it. Okay, so maybe we'll just kind of ignore this like strip of land over here. Just make it all in this area. That'll be fine. Um, first things first, before we get too far into building this all up, let's check the pollution on nuclear power plants. How is that? It's kind of getting built up a little bit, which is telling me that honestly we should deal with that before it ever really becomes an issue. So I want to stretch this away as far as possible. So it looks like around here-ish. Yeah, so let's go ahead and quick build up a waste treatment facility here. Max out the budget. So we should make all of our industry around this. That's like the smartest idea, right? Um, second off, we, we have a lot of research points. Let's get Caribbean Trade Pact Association. Let's get all the industry dealt with. Uh, modern times. We'll research up the waste treatment facility in this building we just built here. Um, we can do refuse incineration, and I know we have another one somewhere, so let's go and just go ahead and just control click it so that we um, make sure that all of the waste treatment facilities are on this work mode. Scrap head scrounging, trace amounts of aluminum, aluminium, rubber, uranium, and nickel. Aluminum and nickel. Not really worried about those, but everything else is fine. Let us go ahead and build up the industry around here then. Vehicle factory. Maybe right here could look kind of neat. Right there. And then maybe what else could look kind of neat is this. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So let's go ahead and do this. Build it up this way, this way. Hmm. I don't like that though. So let's go ahead and demolish this. So I want a road that goes like this. And then I want a road that goes like that. And roads can't be like one tile long. It just says too short. And it's always going to be that way. Um, so it makes this like corner here like really awkward. But we'll figure something out. What I'm kind of thinking is we'll put an industry building here. So we'll just do something. What else we could do? What could be kind of smart is... We could just move all of the rubber plantations over here as well. They're not going to give a rich wage, so maybe not. But let's quick build all this up. I know this is how I want the layout to be. Check all the wages afterwards. 25 rich wage. 22 rich wage. 30 rich wage. So everyone here should be making a rich wage, which is really nice. So now that there's that. Um, we can just do a bunch of stuff for rich people to enjoy around here. So, oh, you know what we even could do? Let's put a luxury hotel. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Hmm. A luxury hotel, the thing about it is everyone that shows up must be filthy rich or... Yeah, well, filthy rich, right? So that could be really, really nice. Hmm. Or maybe we'll end up making it like an island over here and then they can kind of share entertainment buildings. Yeah, okay, okay. So we'll make all the rich people live here, right? Because they're going to have all these factories and stuff. They'll just make really good money um, living in this area. And then we'll make rich people, like rich tourists, show up all around here and have all their like fancy rich people buildings, like all sorts of um, really cool stuff in the luxury entertainment thing like yacht clubs, stuff like that. Um, a nightclub where only rich people can show up. I think the cocktail bar actually has something for only rich people. Op Opera House, the cabaret you can put on burlesque acts, um, gourmet restaurant, a bunch of stuff only for rich people. And so all the rich people will kind of be in this area here. I think that'll be rather neat. So um, we don't need to go and do all that right now because I want to get this area finished so we don't have to worry about the industry anymore. Then I'll move on to our downtown area for the rest of today's episode. However, I do want to perhaps do hmm, maybe something else. Hmm. Either way, we just got 
the Caribbean Trade Pact Association. So let's go ahead and activate this. We're going to lose support for a bit, but it should go back up over time. But let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, so it creates one random export trade route for each of the Caribbean trade partners. Increases Caribbean happiness by 15%, capitalist standing, which is nice, and the edict has a cooldown of three years. So the big thing is that if we come to our trade menu, sort by deviation, look at that, we get fish at 100% off, tobacco at 100% off, and then... We should get at least one more, I think two more. Let's go see if we can find them. Leather, which eh, isn't that great. Ooh, and we could import cars. Hmm, that kind of sucks though. Because see, yeah, no, this isn't actually what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be way lower. Um, anyways, fish and tobacco, that kind of sucks. What we were hoping for was specifically iron and coal so we'll keep doing this every three years in the hopes that we get iron and coal that's going to be our main thing maybe we can buy iron and coal from america or europe though yeah so we could no that's an export wool toys tobacco hmm. 100 percent off on fish though that's kind of cool I'm not really worth it though. Pharmaceutical import could be neat. Um, hmm. Oil. Yeah, they're not really giving us anything that we're particularly looking for. Particularly looking for. Lots of exports and stuff, but that's okay. Um, maybe someone else will have something that we're looking for. Come down to... Like, I would rather try and get something with our major superpowers we're trying to be cool with, because they'll probably give us a better deal. Yeah, see, like, iron, if we do import it from the Dominican Republic, it's going to be an inflated price. We're making so much money that we could do it, and then probably the same thing with coal. Oh, no, the pirates could do this deal, but... Working with pirates, the smugglers, it's going to make all the major countries upset with you. So we don't really want to do that. So we're probably probably just going to do this iron import, max it out with the Dominican Republic. This working with the Caribbean um, countries doesn't make any other like superpowers upset. So you can always trade with them. It's just you're never really going to get a good deal unless you do the Caribbean Trade Pact Association, which we just did. But unluckily we didn't get iron but we can still do a trade deal with someone um so what's nice about doing this is that this should extend the life of our total amount of iron that we're going to have on the island so let's turn off iron turn off steel um, we should go and find coal as well which is way down here coal and then we should also find steel iron coal and rubber so there's everything. Let's also do um, we want to do sugar and cocoa. I should have turned those off a long time ago, but oh, I did turn off cocoa. What about sugar now? Yep, okay, so I did do what I said I should have done. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and finish setting up our little road system here, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think there's really any other industries that I particularly want to do. Now we should do the juicery, the juicery, um, cannery and the creamery. So we can set all these up in this area. Go and unlock them all and just slap them down. Honestly. And as long as they're within range of the waste treatment facility, then this building should keep all the pollution in this area to a minimum which will be nice for us. So let's do this one here and we needed one more of the cannery. 
Counter would be nice because this will push our population's food happiness probably up to the maximum. Which is perfect. Um, there's a little bit of room here for like three parks. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Turn off random variation so we hit the same one over and over. Quick build all this. So that costs like over 100k but we're making a lot of money. Um, max out the budget here. Bananas and pineapples. We are producing these and... Yes. That should be fine. We shouldn't have to change that around. Um, we can though. We can do the upgrade nutcracker. And this will unlock the banana and coconut and the pineapple and coconut work modes. So right now it's choosing either banana or pineapple, whichever ones we really have. But if we're running into issues with one or the other, then we can switch it up for the coconuts and hopefully that'll solve the issue. But potentially we won't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and max out the budget here as well. And we want to change this to supply local market. Um, we could do this high pressure canner to put meat in here as well. Um, we're not producing coffee, so we don't need to do that. And that should be fine. Now let's do the creamery max out budget. Turn off allow local consumption. The work mode literally doesn't matter, I don't think. Butter churn churner and ripening refrigerator. A little bit of electricity, electricity, um, just for some flat output production, which is a really, really nice deal. So this is all looking pretty good. $22 wage, $21 wage, $24, $24. So all of the people working in all of these buildings make a rich wage so if they end up like marrying people within this or someone who else someone else who's like wealthy then all these people should be rich so this is telling me that i should set up like a fancy neighborhood around here which will be kind of cool so let's go ahead and do that um <clears throat> and ideally we won't have to do much else we can build like gourmet restaurants and stuff and that should all be rather fine. What I'm also kind of thinking is we could do metro stations. So we could set up a metro station here in this rich area. A metro station up here in like the... Um, this area. Like all of our important buildings like the offices and trade institute, research lab, college. All of these... Oh, I never increased the budget on that. All these buildings up here... We could have another metro station and then maybe one here in like the like normal bit of town. And then we could also set one up over here, which would mean that we could get rid of the teleferic station, which could be nice. That would be a good idea because then everyone will be able to move all around our main island without having to walk or potentially get a car. And that would definitely be ideal. Alrighty, so... Um, let's go ahead and set up just a little bit of stuff. So what I'm thinking is, first things first, I want to make a shopping mall. Uh, well, I guess first things first things first. Um, let's do, I'm thinking modern mansions in this area. It is going to be a bit electricity expensive, expensive in terms of electricity, but I'm willing to spend it if it means having a really nice neighborhood. Um, we'll just check to see how well that does there. Build roads down like this all around it. And I'm just going to quick build all of this, honestly. Because I want to see how well it does right now. As an occupancy, we can keep clicking like away from it and back to it to see. Workforce occupancy, no one's working in these buildings yet, but potentially that'll go up. And as it does, people should start moving into these mansions here because they make a lot of money in this area um, and I reckon that once it's completely full then um, all these buildings are completely full in terms of the workforce then yeah see the mansions are getting more and more full because more people are moving into this area which makes sense and these modern mansions are going to make us lots and lots of money let's let's just increase the housing quality all the way to the second highest budget we're still making like some decent money from it upper class upper upper class that's funny either way um, so there's that and we potentially will extend this neighborhood down a ways but for now let's set up some stuff for these rich people to enjoy 
luxury entertainment. We can do a yacht club for them. I'm thinking that could be kind of neat. And then what else is rich people-y? A nightclub. Makes sense. I'm going to lay the layout for this for one more little block. And then I kind of want to make just like a like a, a giant plaza here for all of these people to enjoy. But we're also going to need, going to need at least one apartment. So what we could do, I think, is... Well, look at that. I like that. Let's just do this. So two apartments here. Uh, we can max out their budget, electrify them. And that's fine. All right. Public services. We're also going to need some public services like um, newspapers. That just goes without saying. Hmm. Could do that. Probably a radio station would be a good idea as well. Let's do this perhaps like over here. Um, we can kind of make like the ending of this area here. So this will all be potentially plaza as well. Uh, max out the budget. Specifically the radio station's the only media building that won't give a rich wage. The newspaper as we can see gives a range of 22. And this we want to set this to the deals and profit work mode. So all these people become capitalist and then radio station we want to do. Radio now I believe right? Let us see. Yeah, Radio Now is what we're doing with these. Moving everyone towards the environmentalist faction. Yes. Very good. The industrialists are really happy we built up all this industry. Vehicle factory, steel mill, a cannery. Ooh, they actually like wind turbines. I did not know that. That's funny. So, industrialists and environmentalists like wind turbines being built up. That's pretty funny. Nuclear power plant. It's just interesting how all these numbers work. Okay, so we have 80% support. Really, really, really good to see. Only 12% of people wouldn't vote for us. Specifically would say no. But that is fine. I'm curious as to how large the... Yeah, look at that. Um, we should do... Yeah, TV station around here. So you might see this blue border... Um, the TV station is the media building with the absolute largest, what's it called, um, area of effect. And so what we're hoping is that, yeah, it's reaching all these rich people down here, as well as all of the people over here in this, um, living area as well. So let's go ahead and quick build it on up. Max out the budget, of course, and this one was going specifically to global news. So everyone on this island should be being influenced towards should be being influenced towards the correct um, factions here. So we're going capitalist, environmentalist, intellectual, and then religious and militarist. We're not really influencing anyone towards or away from those two factions. Um, so we know a radio station's reaching this area and I believe there's one reaching this area. Yes. But nothing's really reaching our, like, main couple of buildings here. So let's go ahead and do just one more. We can do one literally right here. I'm going to quick build that up. Max out the budget. These are going to radio now and music all day. Perfect. Cool. So that is all of our media buildings. Let's go ahead and get everything else we're going to need. Public services. I want to do shopping mall here. We could do this one here. Go ahead and quick build that up. Quick build that up. Max out the budget here. Luxury outlets. Yes. Air conditioning. I did not mean to do that. That was a huge oops. A lot of electricity wasted, but yeah, it'll be okay. Let's max out the budget here. Hmm. Yes, 
$200 fee income, that's pretty good. Easy sunset, mucho importante, reduces, oh, requires an economic wealth of 100, or of, um, filthy rich, increases fee by $100, service quality increased by 10, look but do not touch, which will lower the required wealth. Not something we're particularly going for. More luxury entertainment, let's do the gourmet restaurant. I'm thinking somewhere around here, actually right here might be cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Max out the budget and we can do increases upkeep 50, service quality 10, increases fee. That would be really good for a tourist one. Um, but we're not really doing that. We can do exquisite wine cellar. This is going to require 15 megawatts, which we actually don't have any electricity, which is kind of annoying. You really, really need the electricity. So maybe what we can do is build just one little teamster's office tucked away just far back over here. That is probably fine. Oh, I didn't mean to max out the budget. Let's do all of the budgets for the teamster's offices on the second highest budget. Actually, we could do the max budget because there's not a whole lot of them. So that's probably fine. Okay. Um, so before I forget, let's do the metro station, which is what I wanted to do. Um, yes, quick build that up. And then we're going to want to put down a police station around here somewhere. Keep the crime down. Potentially we build it. Yeah, I think right here actually would be perfect. Let's go ahead and quick build that on up. And then these people are going to, going to definitely want their own bit of churchness going on. Kind of want to make this look as neat as possible. Maybe we can kind of put it over here like this. Up against the beachfront might look nice. Let's go ahead and quick build that up. Um, we can max out the budget, always on duty, second shift. Okay. We just really need the nuclear power plant to be built in. I'm gonna max out the budget here, more light. Eh. You can go ahead and do it. Um, let's check the support of the conservatives. It went up a lot. It's something we were doing recently. Let's build up a bunch of wind turbines then so we can get out of the negative on our electrical budget. So yeah, that made him quite upset, but that should be fine. Um, I'm gonna risk it and build three more. And of course, max out the budget, change all the work modes, and that should still be above, it was right at 30. So hopefully it doesn't get too worse too quickly. Um, the communists are probably so upset because we built up a bunch of Stuff for rich people, the Yacht Club, the Gourmet Restaurant, and on top of that, the Modern Mansions really made them upset, but that'll be okay. We just won't build too much more rich people's stuff for a bit, and that should be fine. Uh, behind here, we can do this, just because I'm not going to use this area. We're also going to need some sort of medical care for these people, but what I'm kind of thinking is that we could just do, like, a clinic here um, of course max out the budget do modern diagnostics and the other upgrade um, they're gonna have access to the metro station and we'll build a normal what's it called actual building um, a hospital a normal big hospital somewhere around here I think we're spending a lot of money very quickly but we're keeping everything balanced so Everything is fine. So I think I might come back to this area after a little while. We just need the electricity like right now. Hopefully someone's bringing some uranium. Meat to a dock. Hmm. Well, what we should do is get all the metro stations at least placed down. Because if we can get the metro stations down that means everyone will be able to travel freely around the island. It's going to harshly decrease crime safety for a bit, but we'll just have to deal with that. 
That should be enough. Now let's do one more over here. One more metro station. Perfect. Uh, max out all the budgets. More light. Should be good enough. Yeah. Metro station, metro station, metro station. And then one more over here. So anyone on the main island can travel anywhere around the island, which is really, really good. Um, we're starting to make our support go up more and more, which is nice. Conservatives, do they hate metro stations? Something that we did made them upset. Yeah, metro stations. I did not know that. So that's something we need to watch out for. Potentially, we could do something that they like. Um, mm, what do they like? Well, we can go and look. But we have a lot of empty job slots, which isn't great. They like police stations. Radio stations. Building efficiency. I have no idea what that means. A yacht club they like. Churches they like. The TV station they like. So maybe we can just build, like, I think we need a new TV station on this island here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we just kind of want to do a couple things that they like so they're not too, too upset with us. Yes, yeah, so we can do one here. Let's go and quick build that on up and we can do a park here. We can max out the budget and do global news. So that should, yep, that made it above 30. So we're in the clear. Very good. Always on duty. Churches and the moment we have the electricity that we need will be the moment that we will you know what we should do this teamsters office specifically to bring um uranium to um, one of these buildings and then we could do another one wherever applicable Drag this down here, there. Quick build that up. I like putting roads around just to kind of cover up areas. Like I put parks anywhere there's like an empty space. Like right here is an example here as well. But if I can in like industrial zones, I'll just like squeeze roads in because I think it makes it look neat. Um, we can max out this budget here. Emergency job, pick up uranium and bring it to this one. So anyone working in these buildings here Oh, you can close slots, so we'll only have three people working here. I didn't know you could... I, I knew you could do that, but it's been a long time since I've actually done that. Let's actually make it four slots. So, there's four slots here in each of these, and their only job is to pick up uranium and bring it to these two buildings. So, that's really nice. So, hopefully, pretty soon, people will get around to doing that. We do have a spare bit of electricity to mess around with right now, but... Let's focus on, let's check out what the Childhood Museum does. Nothing but the truth. So, um, conservatives have a constant standing bonus of 13 points on base efficiency. Oh, so that's where we were getting the bonus to building efficiency plus 14 points. So we need to wait for their standing to be over 14 points higher than 30 so we got to give it a bit of time and then we can come and change this work mode but for now let's think about it well we can do animatronics efficiency goes up even more hmm. so yeah and now we can find building efficiency went up to 16 okay interesting um let's just sort of ponder what we want to do golden spoon Increases the efficiency of all luxury entertainment buildings by 5%. Hmm. Could be good because we do have the edict. Um, is it gig economy? No. Customer service. Which is kind of annoying because service quality of entertainment, luxury entertainment, and tourism buildings is reduced by 5, 10, and then up to 15%. Which I feel like that last part should be switched. It should start out like with a really low or like a, a harsh penalty and get better and better. Which is typically how like a lot of edicts work. But this one, for some reason, it's like backwards. Um, not like the worst of things, but kind of annoying that it gets worse as the edict levels up. Either way. Um, 
that's Golden Spoon. On top of that, we would gain Standing with America, the Middle East, and Russia, which could be good. Europe and China would not like us as much, and then the capitalists gain a, uh, a bonus to their standing. So that could be good. Religious fostering, all public service buildings goes up by 5%. Plantations and mines goes up by 5%. Commando Garrison Spy Academy go up by 5%. Ranches, factory ranches goes up by 5 Industrial buildings, eh. Oxford graduate. Libraries, research labs, high schools, colleges by 15%. That's kind of a big bonus. The rest of them are like 5%, but that one would specifically be 15 Hmm. Um, we'll probably end up going with Golden Spoon. That one seems like the best bet for us. So let's go ahead and research that building. Probably, I think, yeah, Cold War. It's got to be a childhood museum. <clears throat> so, that is finished. Got animatronics on it already. Let's see, do we have the spare electricity yet? We should have over a thousand spare megawatts, which we don't right now. So, it's telling me that no one has brought us our uranium yet. So, put some parks in front of that building. Um, we built up a new hotel, max out the budget, Hotel Camarote. Wow, we could get elevators and air condition, air conditioning units on all of our basic hotels, but it would cost so much electricity. So we'll probably end up never doing that unless we build up a bunch of electricity very quickly. So, like I said, we need to wait for conservative standing to get above this building efficiency number here well 16 points higher than 30 so right now it's 13 points higher than 30 so we just need a little bit more time for that um did i end up building a grocery over here i did not and that's what i wanted to do so let's go ahead and do this here consider some other things we could build nothing really that i'm seeing that i want to do how is crime crime's looking pretty good on this entire island it gets kind of bad over here which means that I should probably demolish something and put a new, what's it called around here? New police station. Which is definitely a good idea. Right here, we could fit it. All we'd have to do is demolish this park and demolish this road. Perfect. Get a little bit of time so that this area clears up and bam. And then all we got to do is throw a road down coming this way. Quick build this on up. It's like playing Tetris. Always on duty. Second shift. Perfect. So that should really help out with the crime in that area and we're getting a very high crime safety on this entire island which is good. But over here, we could probably use another one as well. Because we have one, but it's not doing great. Let's check our job. Yeah, we have a lot of people that we need to move on to the island. So let's just plus press times four for a bit. Yeah, there's no reason why anyone wouldn't vote for us. Um, I'm thinking maybe another restaurant in this area. Um, no other public services that I'm thinking. could also do another hotel. Quick build that on up. Max out budget. Hotel Camarote. And let's do a new restaurant for our population. And maybe we could do something kind of cool and just make like an arcade, which is something that I haven't built at all thus far. As you can see, I actually just purchased the building or unlocked it. Max out the budget. The reason I never really use it is it only gives like, it gives a very, very low service quality, but I mean, that's fine. We can do online increases tourist rating from visiting tourists by 10%. I did not know that. This is actually a pretty good building for tourists because if a tourist visits, then their entire rating goes up by 10%. That's neat. So let's make it only for tourists. Online international high score ranking, international high score ranking system. Nice. Okay, this building's actually kind of good. Um, max out the budget here. We can do a freezer here. And that should all be fine. Oh, and we have our 
1,000 electricity that we needed. Okay, perfect. Um, so this area is looking just about complete. A little bit more space over here. Let's build that in. Um, let's first off check residential occupancy. All of these apartments over here are full, which means that I should honestly do this. No. Let's do control shift click. Oh, dang it. Max out the budget. Electrify it. Yes. Um, I wanted to put like one on each side of this area here, but that's good enough. Um, go back to residential occupancy. How's it doing? So, as long as you have some open housing, that usually means you don't need to build more. Um, this area could use a little bit more. So, let's go ahead and build an entire new skyscraper hotel. Let's just do the max budget on all these modern apartments, honestly. Um, let's make sure no one's getting too upset with what we're doing. The religious faction's kind of mad, but let's go here. Um, we researched the childhood museum, so this means that we can actually change this to Golden Spoon. So that is really nice for us. Press play. Did I want to make this for our population only? Eh. We'll just leave it for now. Yeah, we'll leave it for anyone to come enjoy, honestly. Um, let's hire in some people. Let's actually go to vacant jobs. And let's do the college educated jobs first. Let's do offices, hire in a bunch of people. Yeah, we don't have any college educated people who need a job. Hospital, office, immigration office, which nobody's working in. College. Clinic, 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 cathedral, clinic, high school educated jobs. We have some unemployed people who could fill that in. So let's do some, um, uneducated jobs, jobs that don't require an education, unfair peer, tourist port, iron mine, no one wants to work in. Bus garage. Tropico's flying cars have improved in leaps and bounds over the last decade. New flight times are almost a minute. Well done, nerd. Keep going. Oh yes, I forgot to check this, but because we have, if we check out efficiency, supply local market, um, that's from the cannery, as well as the fact that we almost have every single food type. Something's missing. What are we missing? Banana cheese, corn, coconut, fish meat, milk, pineapple. Shellfish juice. So juice, juice, cheese, and canned goods aren't in. So once we get canned goods in, then every grocery should have a 100 service quality, which means that the food happiness in the entire island should start going up pretty, pretty soon. Healthcare is down. Fun and faith are sort of down. It should be a bit higher. Our liberty is at a hundred. That's something that I've never actually gotten before. Let's go see why. How's liberty doing on the whole island? Wow, look at that. Everywhere is like over 100. That's really good. So there will probably never be a rebellion on our island like ever, honestly. Which is nice. Look at that. We're making like a thousand dollars a day. Yeah, we're making like some serious money. And then at the end of the month, let's see, end of the month's almost here. Let's see if how much it goes up or down. Oh, it goes down by a bit, but throughout the month, we're going to make more money. So if we check on money and we check, look at economy, usually when you check this screen here, what happens is it'll be like going down and then you export a bunch of stuff and it goes down, export a bunch of stuff down, exports, you know, and so that's typically how they go. But because we just have so much like really nice money making buildings where it's just like as you can see it's on a constant upward trend every month which is really nice which means that we can spend a lot of money and can be a bit reckless with it but as long as we continue to do more and more money making buildings will be fine um what i'm curious about is how are our offices doing making some good money but that one isn't fully employed twelve hundred dollars from one office that's really really good 
Alrighty. I wonder what our... Um, go to the economy tab, and then you can click on current tourist, tourist rating here. 90. Hmm. Could be a bit higher. Let us see. What's something that we want to do? I mean, we could just throw in a cabaret, honestly. Now, there's one right there. I don't like doing too many buildings that look the, like exactly the same. What about a restaurant? There's one right there. Um, hmm. Maybe we could do is another fun fair pier, maybe. This one over here, but eh. Ooh, what we could do is actually demolish this road. And then do something like a movie theater. Ah, it doesn't fit. Hmm. What about luxury entertainment? Hmm. Can we do a new theater here? No. That is quite sad. Do you want to do a gourmet restaurant? We could perhaps do a cocktail bar here. Yeah, we could do that and kind of put it over here and then do some parks around it. Turn off random variations. Do that, that, do this one here. Um, actually bring the road back down. And we could probably just throw in some parks throughout this area. Cool. Probably even throw in a park here. This is like the last of the things that I'll do on an island is like touch up every tiny little corner I can with as many parks as possible. So we can fit in a two by two here. Do that. And then a one by one. And that's pretty much it. Nope, another one by one. Okay. This is getting very, very close to the absolute final build let's see we can do a two by one there two two by ones and then a one by one let's do oops do that and then i like doing these ones wherever i can that looks fine to me can we do a one by one there no Oh man, what is going on here? Service quality is really low, it's only 79. And the reason is that the beauty in this area went down like harshly, as you can see it's like red around here for some reason. And I'm kind of thinking it might be pollution. Pollution's kind of up in this area and we're not doing anything about pollution. Um, I mean we can just leave it and pretend that we didn't see it. Let us do, I'm thinking, this one, three times. Can do that one there. And that's good enough. So let's get one final look at this island. I'll probably never touch it again. It's just going to be making us money for the rest of the playthrough. Everything's perfect. Crime safety is doing really well. Lots and lots of tourists on the island, lots and lots of money being generated, and it's actually looking really good. I really, really like this. I'm going to make a like top 10 things that I want in Tropico 7. And one of them is building diversity. Like, Look at all the same hotels. They're literally just like exactly the same. And I do what I can to break up like monotonous architecture. Like, You don't want it to be too similar too often I'll do everything I can you know like as much as possible but there's only so much you can do with the limited building pool and something that I always think about is it'd be really cool if every single building was completely customizable in the same way that the palace is you could customize the colors you could customize like the windows and even like full-on building layouts like it'd be cool if the hotels you could choose like a small one a large one big one maybe even like some other additional architecture like a parking lot or just something that would be really really cool but i don't know i think it should like tropical tropical games like have like a distinct 
flavor to them. There's like a certain way that the game is. And I think its identity shouldn't be compromised to kind of like fit what other games do, if that makes sense. So I'm just yammering at this point. We are out of uranium is what it looks like. Yep. Oh no, 920 megawatts are missing, which sounds like, yep. Oh no. So one of them got filled back in, but the other one's not looking so hot. Um, honestly, to deal with this, let's just import uranium. Let's import a bunch of uranium. It's really expensive, but let's get 15,000 units. We're losing out on a lot of money there, but it'll be worth it to not really have to worry about it. Whoa, something got burnt down. A waste treatment facility. Let's build that back up, and that's something that I forgot to build up over here is their very own... Yeah, fire was raging and I didn't even notice. Um, oh, there wasn't even an electrical, f or there wasn't like a an outing, an outage. It was just um, the substation was on fire. That's funny. Either way, let's go ahead and build these guys up a fire station. Right here seems fine. Build the road down just a little bit further. Quick build it on up. Let's max out their budget. Um, firefighting helicopter, water, high pressure water jet nozzle. That's good. Okay, so this island's officially finished. We've done a handful of work on our main island, and we've almost completely got the industry areas all set up, and everything's looking really good. We got a bunch of spare electricity, so it's time to really start what we could do. What's it called as well? A bunch of spare wind turbines. We want to do them as much as possible just so that we're getting as much done as we possibly can. So hopefully that's not too many. Just got to make sure, oops, conservatives are upset. Below 30, anytime we're below 30, we got to do something to keep them happy. So what I'm kind of thinking we could do is... <clears throat> I wanted to make metro stations strategically put around so real quick what we'll do is we'll get the next metro station I'm thinking here-ish this could be a good spot so let's zoom on in um, let's do here quick build that parking deck here we forgot to put this parking deck in here let those both get built up let's max out the budgets on those and these more light and the whole reason we're doing this really is so that we can build up a police station to specifically make the conservatives happy so hopefully they're not too upset that we did the metro stations they kind of are but the police stations should yep make them rather quite happy really nice so max out the budget always on duty second shift things are looking good Alrighty, so I knew that I said, or I know that I said I wanted to get as much done on this island as possible, but, you know, sometimes you get carried away with other things, and everything that we've done in today's episode definitely was pretty important. So now we don't have to worry about those areas, and in the next episode we can 100% focus on this area because I was about to start doing it, I was about to really start hammering down with all the skyscrapers, but... Now we don't have to worry about industry, we don't need to worry about this island ever again. This is a closed, perfect little system. It'll work perfectly for the rest of the playthrough. So that's really nice for us. Um, quickly I want to talk about some cool ideas that I've had. I kind of want to make a... Maybe we'll do it over here. Um, something like... A, what's it called? Um, a cultural like destination speaking about our culture right and so the main attraction will be really not an attraction but the main thing that i want to do is um get down some where's military at some forts like two fortresses and then as many guard towers as we need to reach the edict good old days um cap for the industrial or not industrial the tourist rating so it gives a cap of or a potential bonus to the tourist rating of 17 and as we can see we're already at 90 whenever we check support economy or not support but the almanac come to economy we're at 90 so if we had 17 more we'd be at the maximum cap of 100 which would be really good so we'll need to build up two fortresses and a number of guard towers around and then i just want to 
fill it in with as many like cultural stuff a museum of modern art or two and a snorkel bay and just anything to do with that just like cultural stuff culturalism i think that'll be rather quite neat um so we'll have just like the og normal island here a rich island over here is what i'm thinking maybe this entire island here maybe we can make this one like another normal one like this um, and then this one will be the cultural one this will be the skyscraper one and then what i'm kind of thinking is we can make this one like a a beach resort which i do all the time but it feels like it never really works but we could do like a roller coaster to aqua parks um and then in the tourist thing we have like family resorts and put a cruise ship or two around it um, a couple of ethnic enclaves just like um i think what you call it like a a place with a lot of like like a resort just like a ginormous island resort out here and then I kind of want to touch in on like every flavor of different touristy things like there's um a bunch of different oh wow look people have been oh no i hired in a bunch of people what am i on about um, so it really helped with our vacant job situation but now we're hitting more like running into homeless families but we'll worry about that in the next episode anyways um economy tourist rating there's all these different types of tourist relaxation thrill seeking cultural backpacker those two i'm gonna combo into one rich people which is like a class thing i guess oh there's a celebrity here that's kind of funny huh um child good old days hmm. i guess really there's only four so thrill seeking seems like well, i'm not too sure um, but anyways, I just want to make like every type of like touristy destination, like culturalism, um, tall buildings for like rich people, a resort of sorts, and then maybe the rest of everything else will just make like this normal area over here, a couple tall buildings, but mostly just normal hotels and like casinos and stuff like that, maybe on this island as well. And then yeah, rich people here. Maybe we could do like two cultural things. We'll build one fort over here, one fort here. That could be kind of cool. Maybe even three, honestly. I don't think that there's a single ancient ruins, which is like such a shame because, well, first off, that's a really good building. Second off, what is this? That is funky. Um, but yeah, we don't have a single ancient ruins, so I think ancient ruins attract like backpackers or something like that. Maybe what we could also do is just make one island specifically for. Ooh, okay. I have the envision. I, I envision it already. So, um, something really simple like this. I'll just do a quick layout so you can see what I'm thinking. We never even unlocked the fort. That's kind of funny. Um, but we could do like a fort here, and then maybe like a little bit of like poor people housing around. And then I want to do the taverns. Taverns are preferred by cultural tourists. And then we can just do like cultural stuff like taverns kind of just like out in the woods, you know. Um, we can build up like a bunch of parks around somewhere. And we'll just have just like a lowly area. What's this bring in? Thrill seeking? Eh. Hmm. Backpacker. We can do this as well. Botanical garden. But yeah, we'll build it up as time goes on. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with more Tropico 6 series like this, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.